Introduction to ETL. What is ETL? ETL is extract, transform and load process. Fine. So when did you need an ETL? Imagine that a company is having various branches. For example, you can take CTS or TCS or Domino's, Domino's Pizza or anything else which is having various branches. So they may have branches in various cities, right? Like Chennai, Coimbatore, I'm sorry, not for CTS, okay? Let's have for Domino's. So for Domino's, they have branches in Chennai, Coimbatore and Trichy. In Chennai, if you see, they have branches in various area like Trompet, Tambram, etc. So, if in Chennai, they may follow to save the data with .csv format or .xls format. Okay, the data can be stored or saved in any formats, either even as a simple text format or CSV or XLS or database. Likewise, in CBE, if you see, they may store the data in database format, either in SQL or Oracle. In Trichy, they may store the data in Access. We cannot assure that all the data will be saved in a same format. Why? Because we cannot assure that all these uh, cities are having the technology understanding. Like if it is Oracle, we cannot tell that Trishi who are handling the data will be uh, will be understand will be having an understanding about the Oracle. Okay, so. They may store it in any type of data, like any type of format. If you want to process all these formats, so the thing is like if Domino's wants to understand what is the total sales in India, total sales in India, so what he has to do, he has to integrate all these data, right? All these data which comes under every individual uh, cities and uh, that is every, in, under the state that is every state they have to just my, they have to extract the data and process it trans they have to do some uh, transaction over there and then they can understand what happened and in which city they have the highest sale so what comes here to extract all these different formats of data exactly it is etl tools so that is what I told E means extraction, extracting data either from various types of data like various formats of data. It might be CSV, XLS, SQL, Access, anything it may be even it is if it is from the server, online data or it's a server based data, cloud based data, any type of data it may be. We have to extract it first. Even all these in all these states like all these cities if they are if they are storing the data in the same format anyhow we have to extract all these data to understand what is the profit and what is the sales for that we need etl tool so extraction then transformation in order to understand the sales based on the city or based on the state we need to transform it Either we have to do group by, aggregate functions, we have to filter. So there are various transformations there. And finally, these transformations are done. We have to store it in a data warehouse that is loading. It has to be stored in the data warehouse where these data will be used for the further analysis. That is what ETL. So extract, transform, load process has a central role in a data management at large enterprises. So it has a central role. So whenever, like if, if it is an OLTP, that is online transaction processing or online analytic processing, 
so what happens like we have to convert we have to transit the data from online transaction to online app analysis got it so that is what online transaction means whatever happened through online like as i said in dominos uh, they'll be selling the data like selling uh, uh, the products so this is transaction processing data if i want to analyze which is the highest highest uh, that is in which country or in which state they have the highest sale or which pro which um, food product like pizza or if it is a chocolate or cake so which product has the highest demand so if they want to analyze that they have to convert it from online analytical processing transaction processing to online analytical processing okay so oltp to olap so it needs to be extracted from the source system transformed into a shape form and structure suitable for the target system and loaded into the target system it is difficult to provide a comprehensive atl tutorial because atl is a different in every organization in one organization they may follow a different type of atl and in another organization they may follow so i'll be teaching you like what is generally used in almost in all the organization like aggregation getting the sample rows filtering mapping union likewise so i'll be showing the general component which we will be using for etl so there is also a wide variety of tools that help organization manage and automate etl so what are the tools we have we have talent that is what we are going to use in this tutorial and we have pentaho pentaho data integration and we have informatica power center and we have ssis and we have various larger than this we have variety of tools okay but we'll be seeing about the talent because this is open source okay so this is what the etl process that you can extract you have to extract the data from various sources that is various data sources you have to extract it even if it is from the same format or if it has a different uh, set of format and you have to transform and load it so this is where we call it as a staging area this is the staging area okay and then once it is done transform and then we'll be loading it in the data warehouse that is what dwh and finally we will be transforming it in order to analyze and get some insights with that data extract transform load is a process which prepares raw data from consumption by enterprise systems typically for reporting and analytical process so usually we'll be storing that in a data warehouse we can also store it on our local system since we'll be using in our stand alone pc so we'll be storing it in our local system in company in it companies or any other company they are using etl they'll be storing it as a data warehouse or else they'll be storing it as a in a server or for further direct processing ELT processes prepare OLTP data for example that is the day to day transaction data that is ERP ERP means enterprise resource planning or CRM means customer relationship management to be loaded into a data warehouse for reporting and exploration of a BI tool so BI tools is a business intelligence tool so this is the traditional atl process is based on batch processing see usually you have you might have seen many scenarios okay consider a check process in bank okay if you just go and uh, deposit a drop a check in your bank okay it will not be processed immediately at the end of the day or at the end of the day complete what are the checks they have received that will be processed together that we call it as a batch processing fine so batch processing means what together and another example you can think about the salary 
okay at the end of every month or at the beginning of every month you and the employees who are working under that employers so they'll be receiving a salary on the same day that is what batch processing we have various examples for batch processing and these are all easy to understand usually etl jobs run daily weekly or monthly and process large volumes of data from so system imagine a facebook or google that is a gmail or youtube okay so they want to understand how many subscribers they have so obviously they have to run the job daily to find how many subscribers they have that is how many new channels has been created on daily basis in fb how many new accounts how many new users have logged in right likewise weekly to find the sales weekly sales or monthly to find the monthly sales like a quarterly sales fine so these are all the batch processing system where we'll be using etl these are all the process which are under etl that is extract transform and load that is a reference data which creates a set of reference data that defines permissible values your data may contain so that is what the reference data what are the data you have next is the data extraction as i told you will be extracting data from the various sources or even that is uh, it might be from the various sources like rdbms uh, sql csv json or it might be from csv file from the different uh, location so you will be extracting the data that you have to convert it into a single standardized format the third one is the data validation where you have to validate the data whether they are in the correct format whether you can directly go ahead with that for analytics or you have to do some validation for that next is data transformation you have to transform your data by cleaning it by verifying its integrity either doing aggregation or by restructuring it into facilitated easy analysis and staging as loading the data into the staging environment that is your you are getting ready with your data for your loading environment and load to data warehouse finally you will be loading the extracted and transformed properly shaped data into the warehouse this is what the etl process why we are going to do with talent that you should understand talent is a software integration platform which provides a solution for data integrity quality management data preparation and big data and of course it is free you can download it and use it for free the demand for etl professionals with knowledge on talent is very very high and etl tool has almost every plugins to integrate with the big data ecosystem easily so talent business model so we will understand what is talent business model and talent jobs everything from the scratch okay so before that you have to install talent make sure that your system is installed with java 8 version or java 11 version anything above than that the current version of talent is not supported so install java 8 even if it is not in your system you can install java 8 i'll tell you how to check whether you have uh, java what which version you have okay so i'll tell you the version to find out and then you can download the talent business that is you can download the talent software which the download and installation process is given to you in an another video so you can check that let's proceed with the talent uh, java download and installation and then talent and i'll show you how to Uh, go through the talent environment and we'll start with the simple jobs